That controls just about everything on offense, but a lot of times what gets missed is that the center controls line play. He has to communicate to the guards and the tackles what type of front they're picking. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Tevin Coleman, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons are in for six. Uh, he's giving him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs down the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. Here's Bosher to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. It's grabbed over the middle by White. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. A good pick up there, a 22. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Going on first down is Brady. Goes underneath here to White. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. On first down, Brady. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy, where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice gain, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. It'll be a gain of four, and it'll be second down. But it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the back. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. And now a critical extra point attempt here. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And here now come the Falcons. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. On second down, Ryan. And this is going to be intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. 
So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window and everything is flipped in the other direction. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And some room to maneuver. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. We just saw what a lot of teams call a heavy set. Three tight ends in the game. That signifies they want to run the football. Yeah, occasionally they'll play action and throw it, but most of the time, those guys on the field means strength, power, run the ball behind them. And now what a lot of teams are doing is they're taking an extra offensive tackle and putting him in a tight end number to give them even more blocking power. And we just saw it on that play. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. Let's go, let's they don't go. need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. Brady to throw on second down. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. As he'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. He'll get it up the middle. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. And the Falcons going to use another timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Touchdown, Patriots! Josh Gordon with his second touchdown.